Hey guys, what is up? It's JJ Tech here, and today I've got you another tech video and another tablet video, in fact, as you can see by the title. And yeah, it's gonna be a six, not a six month, an eight month later video with the RCA Tablet Viking Pro here. And I'm gonna be doing my experience as I usually do in these kinds of videos. And yeah, because I have to kind of explain something here because yeah, something kind of happened with the screen on this tablet. And you might know what it is. So with no further ado, let's get in to the video. Alrighty, so as you know how I do with these videos, I usually go through my experiences with the amount of months that I do. For example, now I'm doing eight months. So I'm gonna explain my experience with the tablet over the eighth, the eight months that I've had this tablet. And I'm gonna start off with the pros and cons, of course, like I always do. And I'm gonna start off with the pros. And this time I'm gonna do the pros over the eighth, eight months because I already did a pros and cons on my review video and my three month later video. If you haven't checked that one out, make sure to check that one out. But this time we do pros and cons, basically the pros that I've had over the eight months and the cons that I've had over the eight months. Now pro number one has got to be the attachment of this keyboard here. Now let me show you the keyboard real quick. As you can see here, the keyboard, I love this attachment. It's just really easy, you just slap the tablet on top of here, automatically connects, no need to configure it by any means, even on the first time, no need to configure it, you just slap it on, works. And I really love this keyboard, you know, it's nice and clicky, as you can see, here, the nice and clicky, you know, not a problem, I like how it feels, very, very durable, so yeah, it's gotta be my pro number one. And over the eight months, the keyboard has been great, I've had pretty much no problems with it, except the caps lock kind of popped out of its place here, as you can see, it's kind of starting to pop out, and I had to slap on some tape on there, but other than that, that was my fault, actually, but other than that, this keyboard has held up great over those eight months. Now, pro number two is the build of the tablet. Now, I don't mean that in terms of premium materials. As you guys already know, if you guys watched the review video, it's pretty much made of plastic all around. Pretty much everything, the screen, the shell of it, you know, the keyboard, everything is plastic. And you're probably wondering, then why do you put that as a pro? Well, I say that because, as you know, plastic is very, very durable, and over time, it kind of ages very well because you know you can literally drop it and nothing will happen maybe we get some scuffs here but you can just wipe that off easily it's not like if you have metal or glass glass obviously is going to crack metal is going to scratch up easy and i say that my pro number two because it's very durable over the eight months i've dropped this keyboard and the tablet itself many many times and I've had pretty much no problems. Like I said, some scuffs here and there, but that's pretty much it. Now the last pro has got to be the amount of ports this thing has. And if you don't know what I mean by ports, I mean like in terms of like HDMI, you know, the SD card, it has a bunch. And that's really something that can be really useful, especially when you be using this for like office use, you know, presentation, you wanna hook up to, let's say, I don't know, a TV, a monitor, it's gonna be really simple to do so with this thing. So as you can see here, it does have, you know, has a full-size USB, it's 2.0 by the way, full-size USB, and then on the other side we have a mini HDMI, it's not a full-size HDMI, but you can just buy an adapter for that. It also has an SD card expansion, expansion, and we do have micro USB. So we have two charging options here, which is micro USB and the proprietary charger that comes inside the box. And that is really a plus because like I said, like I said, it makes it so much easier to hook up this stuff. You can easily hook up a mouse to this thing with no problem. I've done it many, many times and it works flawlessly. It even works better than the trackpad on the actual keyboard. Now on to the cons. We never like to hear the cons, but nothing's perfect. So we gotta go with con number one. All right, so con number one has gotta be the trackpad on this keyboard. It is just not very good. The amount of you know the sensitivity on this thing is kind of bad there pretty much is no way to adjust the, the amount of sensitivity on this trackpad what i mean by that is basically it's not accurate so let's say you're fit it's kind of late to respond is what i'm trying to say and it's not very good especially if you're really trying to use it and it's not very good because it gets you really frustrated especially when you let's say there's this little tiny arrow on the screen like as a back button right if you want to get there and it takes a while for it to catch up the actual mouse on the screen it takes a while to catch up 
where your actual finger is at on the trackpad already. It takes like a one and a half second delay and it probably might not be a big deal but it is really a big deal and you can really see it on this tablet when using it. It's kind of a little confusing here as I'm explaining it but I think you guys know what I mean in terms of like the lag and response time. Con number two is this hinge. And you're probably thinking, why would a hinge that's very helpful helpful be a problem? Well, it's not that the hinge isn't helpful, it's just the hinge gets stuck. And as you can see, I'm literally doing max force and this thing, it stiffened over time. Now I had absolutely no problems with the hinge for like the first five months, six months. So it did last a good amount of time. But after that, I started noticing that every time I kept using it, it just kept getting harder and harder every time. So look, for example, I slap on the tablet itself. You're probably thinking, I'll oh, just use this, close it nice and easy, right? It pops right off. So as you can see, look, let me just show you better there. Before it was really easy, all I did was close it and the hinge would go right along with the tablet. And as you guys just saw, it's really, really stiff. And I don't know if that's just a problem with my particular unit here or if you guys are having the same problem with your RCA Viking Pro but yeah that's and I didn't I know I said I dropped it but I didn't, I didn't really drop it on the hinge I dropped it like on on its side you know so that I don't think that's the problem I just think that over time the uses it just starts stiffening and stiffening and I did try to remove it with these screws down here but there really is no possible way to do it unless you really force it I tried putting oil in there maybe maybe you just need it you know some lubrication in there but that was not the case so yeah like I said maybe just a problem with my unit definitely let me know in the comments now con number three has got to be the camera it's just abysmal the camera quality on this tablet is just absolutely horrible and I know you're probably thinking well usually cameras on tablets aren't usually particularly great even the higher end models are not the best but this thing is just absolutely horrible when I mean horrible it's just bad not even usable i took up some pictures here i'll show them on the screen to probably have one or two samples and the quality has got to be like 140p it's just absolutely horrible and yeah don't even get me started on video on this thing it's just not possible i mean absolutely blurry no autofocus and you can barely see yourself so yeah con number three has got to be the camera if you're buying a 50 to 80 dollar tablet which this thing costs and you want it for the camera you're gonna have to look some somewhere else so now that I got the pros and the cons out of the way, now I'm just going to explain my experience over the 8 months and how was it. It was good or bad. And I'm going to start off with the good. Now it was really, really good. Like I said, when I said the pros was the keyboard, it was really easy to maneuver. You know, it was really easy to use. Like I said, no problems over time with the keyboard. I really liked that the keyboard, you, it was just really easy to use and I had no problems with it. Usually some keyboards at this price point feel really cheap and not to say that this one doesn't feel cheap it just doesn't feel as cheap as you know options at this price point and for example another tab and I did forget to mention that I did forget to add a con of this tablet and that's the speaker I did forget to mention that the speaker is just it's just really tinny I did mention this in my review that the speaker is just really a weak point on this tablet as well in my experience with the speaker like I said it's usable it's not that it's not usable but if you're trying to use this thing for music it's like something that's like bass heavy. This thing has absolutely no bass. It's just horrible. And I guess I just had to deal with it. But like, for example, watching a regular YouTube video, you know, no bass, none of that. Regular, the voices sound tinny. And yeah, the speaker is a weak point. On it. So yeah, overall, my experience has been really, really good. Now, here comes the kind of sad part. I did forget to mention, yeah. Let me just show you guys. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can tell. I cracked it and you're probably wondering oh it's just a little crack that's no big deal well yeah it didn't just crack and what I mean by that is yeah look let me just show you I'll just demonstrate the screen no longer functions it's non-usable let me tell you a story so I was using this on my lap I had it in keyboard mode here using it on my lap and I accidentally whipped my hand over the screen causing this to fall and it kind of fell on the screen flat first face first here and like I said it was you're probably thinking oh you dropped it once and it cracked that's kind of bad no guys I probably dropped it 
on its screen for probably like, I don't know, like 15 times and it finally cracked and it didn't just crack like I said, the screen just doesn't function anymore. So I have to use, I'm forced to use the mouse pad or a mouse separately, which is kind of annoying because like I said, when unlocking the tablet, you know how you kind of, you have to use a finger to swipe up. It's pretty difficult to use it with the mouse pad, but with a mouse, it's really easy. So yeah, kind of a, uh, yeah, it's, it's a big deal. The screen just doesn't function anymore. I was thinking of taking it to, I don't know, to repair it, but I was thinking, what's the point? I mean, this thing's like 50 bucks. They're probably gonna charge me double that to fix the whole screen. Might as well just buy a new one. But it doesn't really bother me. I, I was kind of mad when it happened, but I got really used to the mouse pad and the mouse thingy, so it's not really a big deal, but hey, it happened. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, slap the like button, subscribe down below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.